21. Came into ministry at 21. Came into marriage at 21. Bought our first house at 26. Went on in life. Trusted God through all the ups and downs. Ministry, 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 ministry. Never looked back. Never said now. You see, in the times that I, when I was young, I realized I cannot entertain sin in the back room and God in the front room. I can't open the front door and Jesus is sitting in your front lounge, but in the back room right there where nobody knows, you've got a tenant living in the backyard and his name is Satan. He's occupying space on your property. And if he occupies a little bit of space, he's a selfish, almost gave him a bad name now. So and so. (laughs) He wants it all. He's like a child that tastes sweets for the first time. Mm. After that, it's over, it's good over. But the devil wants to occupy space. And the Holy Spirit is saying, no, 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 we can't share this space. It's either him or me. You choose today. It's either me or him. God's a jealous God. He's an all-consuming fire. He doesn't occupy space with other tenants. There's no mutual agreement between the devil and God. Okay, we'll occupy the space together for now. And then later on, you can come in and I can go out. And so we, we, one day you're with the devil, the next day you're with God. Your life is miserable because you're not serving God flat out. And when you stand up in church, you are condemned by the thing that occupies in the back room. Sunday after Sunday, we come to church with occupation and constipation. I'm a poet. When I say constipation, some of you are spiritually constipated. Some of you are full of the word, but nothing comes out. You thought I was joking about constipation. When the Spirit is upon you, you can rhyme and you can go for what God wants you to go for. The Spirit of God is in this place this morning. Conviction is upon your heart right now. I know it as you're sitting there right now. You can't come in every Sunday and yet, 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 yet. There must be an outlet. There must be someone else that you're sharing the word with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning before church, Sunday after church, Sunday before you go to bed. If there's nobody else, preach to your dog, man. Get someone saved. But if there's no outlet, you're full of the word. You're fat and ugly. And I don't want to be fat and ugly before God. Because God has given His Word. He's given His Spirit. He's empowered us with the Holy Spirit to carry the Word. You don't have to be a preacher to talk to someone about Jesus. You just have to have a voice.